Hi, I'm Lily Bird and this is my podcast about feminism. I have with me Charlie Vincent. Hey! Hello. How's it going? So, Charlie, what's your opinion on feminism? Um, my opinion on feminism is that they should, all feminists should go to hell. No, I'm joking. Um, or just, uh, what, in what sense? In what sense of the word? What, what do you want me to say about feminism? Um, in general, feminists, bad feminists, good feminists. What, what, what are we talking what about here? What do you think feminism is a positive movement on our society? Um, <clears throat> of course, striding for equality is always a good thing. But when people when people claim to be feminists, when actually they're probably the furthest thing from feminists, then it's a bit. I don't know, they're kind of, they're ruining it for the real feminists who are actually trying to make positive change. And they're just kind of bringing that whole, that's why people, people think it's a bit ridiculous and people don't like the idea of feminism because of these idiots. I agree. You agree? I think that feminism, the idea of feminism is positive and (coughs) I would say that I agree with it and that I am a feminist. Yeah. But. I don't know, that, that, like you said, there are people that, like... Take it a step too far. Yeah, and just ruin what it actually means. And then other people that don't know much about feminism get the wrong idea and think, oh, no, feminism is negative and it's not good, like... It's like the whole um, the whole Kleenex issue. Yeah. It's like... the, the it's Like, all of these feminists clumping together and trying to make a change about this this issue that isn't even an issue this is not it doesn't it it's it has no impact on anybody's life whatsoever yeah but there's female genital mut- like mutilation in africa and there's so much rape going on in india but they don't want to strive for change for that they care about labeling on a tissue box like come on man sort your priorities out do you know what i mean like Strive for something that's actually affecting the lives of women day in, day out. Sort out suffering and sort out hatred and sort out all of these important things before you go to the non, non-important non issues like that. Like, come on. Re- is that really top of your list of priorities? It's pathetic. Yeah, I think, like, we're too many people are focusing on things like, oh, gender neutral and just, you know, like things like that. And it's like... At the end of the day, women are being affected, whether you want to call them women or not. It's women that are affected in these countries that, like you said, like gen... uh, Genital mutilation. Yeah, that's the word. (laughs) Yeah, like, that's surely a bigger issue and it's happening to women. So you can't... Why are you focusing on things like, oh, man-sized... Man-sized tissues. Oh, yeah, because that... Because women really wake up every single day, look at that and go, oh, my God, oh, oh my God, oh, my God, that's affecting my... Oh, my God, that's ruined my life. Oh, my God. Mate, there's people literally, again, for probably the third time, going back to genital mutilation, that ruins women's life forever. That is it. Their life is over. Not over, but their life is changed drastically from that very second yet you want to you want to discuss something that you don't even you don't have to look at you can choose to ignore that you can get on with your life there's many more important things in the world than that i'm 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 sorry but there is yeah no there is i think that people just aren't focusing on the right things and like for me feminism is to help women that aren't being treated equally like people that are like in countries where people women are getting raped all the time i'm not saying like men can't get raped obviously but in the countries that women are getting raped all the time like there there clearly is an issue amongst women getting treated unfairly like that's especially in like middle eastern countries and stuff like that women are seen as like subhuman and it's like yeah <clears throat> pick your battles man pick your pick pick the pick the most important ones to fight for like if the millions and millions of f- feminists who jumped on this whole Kleenex trend just to boost their own ego and to boost their own profile. If they really looked at important issues, they could make some serious change, but they just want to do stuff to benefit themselves. Exactly. Not real feminists. No, I think at the end of the day, feminism's for equality and so that there isn't anyone 
I mean, it's not just about... Oh, yeah, it's mainly targeted at women being equal, but it's men and women to be equal. It's not just about women. It is, like... Yeah. Why... Uh, see, this is what... I don't understand, though. If it... They're clearly... And I'm not saying this is a problem, because obviously they're looking out for women because in the instances that they're talking about, women are being treated unfairly and men aren't. So obviously they're just trying to level the playing field almost. But they say that they're just as focused on men's equality. And it's like, you don't have to lie. It's not a problem. It's not a problem to be focused on women's equality. But don't lie and say that men's equality is just as important to you. Because if it was, it wouldn't be called feminism. It'd just be called the radical equality movement. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, but like, like women years ago couldn't even vote. Of course. And then when they did get the vote, you could only vote over, like, how old could you, do you have to be, like, over 25, 30? It was, it was something what, like that. What, women? Yeah, you couldn't I didn't, vote I didn't, over I didn't know that was the yeah, case. When they I knew they the couldn't, vote. yeah, I knew they couldn't vote. I didn't know there was an age restriction. Yeah, there was. And then what, it's So it was lower, lower for men, but higher for women? Yeah. So men, obviously, <laughs> of 18, maybe. And yeah. then women were, like, 25, maybe 30. I can't actually remember what the age yeah. was. But, like, because women have, like, people didn't want women to vote. Or men didn't want women to vote because they thought their opinion didn't matter. Yeah. Like that, that, how, the how suffragettes would, and all that. Yeah. How would yeah. you feel if your opinion just didn't matter? Like, you had a strong opinion about some people. Like, well, I don't care. Your opinion doesn't matter. You're, you're, you were born like this, so you, your opinion, it, it's invalid. It's, like, no one cares. That must have just been absolutely infuriating. That would have, that would have so drove angry. me up the wall, wouldn't it? So you can't really blame them for calling it feminism because it's no 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 i don't i don't i absolutely don't blame them for calling it feminism but when people say feminism is focused equally on men and women's rights it's like it's not because it's called feminism for a reason and i'm not again i'm not saying that is a problem but just don't don't i don't make out like you're something you don't don't make out that you are looking I mean, obviously, they. I'm not saying they don't. They don't care about men's rights and they don't care about equality amongst everyone. But they act like I don't know why they do this either. Because it's not a problem to focus on women's issues. If you want to focus on women's issues, focus on women's issues. There isn't a problem. I don't see why they have to validate themselves to other men and say, "No, we look out for men's rights as well." Nah, but you don't. Why do you don't? It doesn't matter that you don't care about men's rights, like. You just focus on focus on the battles you wanna you wanna fight. Focus on women's issues. It's not a problem. But yeah. why do people say, "Oh, we equally care about men's rights"? There's women's rights. It's like you don't, because you're called feminism and you focus mainly on women's rights. I mean, for me personally, I've never really been that affected by not being treated equally, really. But then I've been born. If you're born, born into quite a privileged background, quite a privileged not not as in rich, but like you you are you're a white girl born in suburban England. You you're you're better off than like most of the world. Yeah, no, literally. So I, I know the time. So be grateful, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean like the time I've been born, like feminism's been a thing for years. Yeah. So it's not like a lot has changed from like sixty years ago. You're yeah. you're you're now you're not as affected as they were back then because of them. They have helped you today. That That's affected you positively today. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mate, there was... I remember being in like a... Do you know what a working men's club is? Like, yeah, like a, like, uh, like the place we went to before, the charity sort of thing. Oh, that yeah, that yeah, sort yeah, of place. Yeah. There was a line. Um, So there was like the bar area. Yeah. There's a line of like laminate flooring and then there's like a metal casing that splits that and the carpet yeah and i was like i've always wondered what is that why is that there and apparently back in the day women couldn't cross that line <gasps> no way. and i was like what that's insanity that's it's crazy i, do, I don't get it. women back then were literally <clears throat> thought of just to have sex with and to have children with that's that's it there was someone you yeah you you're allowed kids to them i don't think no i don't think it was that extreme what? no by some people of course it would have been but I think, I, I, no, I still think women were treated with respect by some people, but not as much as it is. It's, it's, it's not as, it wasn't as frowned upon back then to, to sort of, 
dehumanise women, which is obviously a lot of what was going on at the time. I mean, it's still going on today. Yeah. Like, did you see the case the other day about a girl? A girl was raped, and in court, this was only like a, a couple of weeks oh, ago. No. A girl in court, they used evidence because she was wearing a certain type of underwear. Yeah, she said that, that she that was that she was consensual because of the clothes she was wearing, and it's like, wow, this is this is genuinely still going on today, really. I know. Just because of how you wear your underwear. This is the thing, oh, you can't dress a certain way, you can't do this. Like, I, sh- I should be able to go out in a short skirt and wear what I want and have my cleavage out or whatever. And not, and not be raped. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, so, no, you, like, you should be able to wear clothes you want without fear of being raped. Like, that's just a given. Not even ra- you without being sexually assaulted or approached. You know what I mean? That that shouldn't be, oh, well, you were asking for it. It's like, no, you weren't. I'm not being you funny, were, but... You were wearing clothes that you want to wear. I understand when people say... I, see, my opinion is, when... Especially when, like, teenagers, like, when you're, like, I don't know, 14, 15, 16... When parents are a bit protective and they're like, I don't really want you going out in that for fear of your safety. I understand that because yeah. it's kind of like saying to kids, don't go down this road. Don't go here at this time of night because there are dodgy people. There are always going to be dodgy people in the world. And whether you think that, no, it shouldn't, we shouldn't be teaching, we should be teaching men to not do this to women. It's like, yes, of course. But just because that opinion stand just because we should be teaching men to not do that doesn't mean that it's just gonna doesn't stop. mean it's going to just going to stop overnight so obviously we need to educate men on not do and I, i'm not going to lie in my opinion i don't think i don't think there's i don't think men need to be educated on these things because why do you not know this already why are you, why do you not know not to rape women and not to sexually assault women are you really do you really not? Uh, no, I, I refuse to believe it. I refuse to believe that men You're an idiot. need. Oh, you need to be educated like... as a child. No, you don't. Just be a normal human being, you moron. Honestly, just, you don't, it gets just, me angry, man. Just mom. don't rape someone. <laughs> like you know, when <sighs> someone don't want it, just don't do it. In it, I don't get it. There's, and like, you can tell. You're a human being. You can recognize human emotions, and you can look at someone and go, okay. I can see you're uncomfortable. People choose to ignore it. I don't care what anyone says. People choose to ignore it. There's no need to educate men because men know what they're doing. They're just disgusting pigs. (laughs) (laughs) Got into that. (laughs) And then going back to the clothing, right? Okay, I know this is... Obviously, it's different, but men walk around and they don't have to wear... They can go, go around without their tops off. They can go around with their... With showing everything just with a pair of shorts on and then no one thinks twice about that. Yeah. But if a girl wears maybe a revealing top or something, they can get raped because of that and then that's a valid enough reason to get raped is because they're wearing that. But men can walk around with their sh- sh- shirt off and it doesn't matter, that's normal. That's... It's, yeah, it's just... Oh no, it's different. I but suppose it's... it's just it's just a cultural thing. You can't... I feel like, yeah, it's just, it's just a cultural thing, isn't it? Because women in Africa just walk around just breastfeeding their kids and just walk around without tops on and anything and I don't know it's just the scene is normal yeah. I don't I don't know I just it's just a, it's a social norm in it you're following like social norms I suppose yeah okay thank you for listening to my podcast with Charlie thank you very much I hope you enjoyed the podcast great see you later <laughs>